Hi guys! This is lesson 2-2, connect place value and multiplication. Today we are going to factor the tens. The tens are of course part of place value. So we're going to connect that to multiplying. So in this example, we have 20 times 40. So what I've done is I've taken this grid and I've already split it into 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 squares. So looking at this, remember each one of these is a little square. Okay? My pen is kind of too fat to trace the dots, but you can see how you can make a little, see I can't even trace it, but each one is a little square. So I have 20 by 40. So I'm going to think of this as a rectangle. So one of my dimensions is 20. My other dimension is going to be 40. So I'm going to count out 20. I know this is 10. This is 20. The length of my side is 20. On the other side, I'm going to count out 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. I complete my rectangle by tracing another 40 and another 20. So this side is 20 and this side would be 40. So now I'm ready to figure out my answer. Well, I've literally traced the rectangle. I could count each square until I got my answer. There's a shortcut. So I know each of these big squares are a 10 by 10. 10 times 10 is 100. Therefore, each of these squares is 100. So the area of my rectangle, or 20 times 40, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 800. Now, let's use some of our multiplication properties and factor the tens. So here I have 20 times 40. I'm going to take a look at my first blank. So I have blank times 10 times blank times 10. Well, if I look at my first factor, I have 20. I know that 2 times 10 is 20. So I have factored the tens. For my second blank, I have 40. I know 4 times 10 is 40. Again, I have factored the tens. The next row, we have parentheses blank times blank times 10 times 10. Well, I know 10 times 10 is 100, so here's our 10s. So something needs to be broken apart here. So again, I'm just going to take my 2 that I've already broken apart from 20, and I'm just going to write it here. I'm going to take my 4 that I broke apart from 40, and I'm going to write it here. I know 2 times 4 is 8, 
I also know 10 times 10 is 100. I know 8 times 100 is 800. So, that leads to my next step. Now, they took the parentheses, and 10 times 10, of course, is 100. So that's where that number came from. So in my other parentheses, we have 2 times 4, which, of course, guys, is 8. Now, I just say 8 times 100 is simply 800. So you have factored the tens. Today, you learned how to connect place value to multiplication. So we factored our tens and we took a look at 100's grids. Nice job. Hey,